of the ACC and the AAC, the Atlantic Coast Conference and the American Athletic Conference. Opening tip controlled by the Pirates. And a new look to this East Carolina program from top to bottom. When you consider Joe Dooley back as the head coach and all of the newcomers, give us with another rebound. Garner with a pretty move to the baseline. He's got his first two points. ECU career. A 4-3 lead for the Pirates. Moses Wright misses his jumper. Alvarado, though, with that nose for the loose ball converts. Stop. Tay Hardy drew the defense on the kick out. The three is good for Deshaun Wade. For three out of 12 so far in their shooting, they've been one out of five from three-point range. Blocked at the rim, but a strong follow in there. There is Seth Lede once again on the offensive board. Foul call was on Rico Quinton. Let's watch Lede meet. Back pass right there, and Fleming able to take it away. Fleming strong in the hoop with that left-hand finish. Who began his college career out at the University of Hawaii. Played a couple of seasons for the Warriors. Haywood inside, using the glass and earning a trip to the line on top of it. The idea of his toolbox. Very good on the defensive end. There you see the rebounding on the defensive end. Oh, the pass. Off the thread, the needle pass from Alvarado. Alvarado on the floor, Alston back in there. Kamari Phillips a part of a three-guard set. Make it a four-guard set in certain respects with DeVoe, and that feeds into the idea of positionless basketball. For Deshaun Wade, Alston with his head up. Brings it forward court for Alvarado. Knew right where to go to get the pass, and the three ball good. Timeout taken by East Carolina as a result. Obviously a well-deserved honor. He works hard on every end of the floor, as we've seen in our 12 minutes of play here so far. Hardy slipped a little as he went in there. Brandon Alston trying to penetrate. Phillips lost it off his hip. DeVoe, though. Jose Alvarado, meanwhile, in their sleep later. He has been very active getting the drop on players on the defensive end. Alvarado here. Yeah. Now seven points, a couple of assists. But the that's what he... Gay with the rebound. He's got to wait for his teammates to get back into the front court. They were ready to hang back on defense. Haywood trying a three. Nothing but net. Right now with nine points in the first half. 26 to 16. First double digit lead of the night. Side to pull up, smart move. Good ball rotation. Another three for Haywood. An empty trip for the Pirates. It's Phillips' turn for the three. Wingspan there to pick off the pass. Phillips around Spasievich. Teardrop off the glass. Beautiful move by Phillips right there. Beautiful. Over the last four plus minutes, this game once was tied at 15. But the Yellow Jackets have ripped it open. There's a turnover once again. Alvarado, very clever in traffic, snaps the nets. Out of the trouble. DeVoe with the steal. Trying to turn this into a two on one. Collides with Fleming. Alvarado, the blind pass. It caught Gay off guard. Fleming a chance to come the other way. Off for season. Spasievich tracks down the deflected pass. They're trying to get Gardner involved down inside. Got position, took the entry pass. Spasievich wins the battle that time around, claiming the rebound. Hardy taking on Gay and getting it to go. Three-point play. Pirates have left some points at the free throw line. Just three out of eight. Alston on the drive. Lede helped force the Georgia Tech turnover. Here's Foster on the foul line, pull up, getting a roll. And that's how the second half begins for East Carolina. Checks out for ECU. Gay in the high post. I like his patience right now. Jump hook and the bucket. It's now in this game, helping Georgia Tech to a 44 to 26 advantage. Davis missed one time. Pirates keep after it. Now the Pirates will have to shift gear into the half court set. Gardner, trying to get some leverage down low. There's Lede again. Off of offensive rebounds. 
Haywood, again, a chance at a three-point play. And the rebound, grabbed out of there by Isaac Fleming. Fleming with that knack for getting all the way inside. He's got six now. Senior is going to be so important for the Pirates this year, providing the leadership that this young team needs. Gay was able to save it off the baseline for DeVoe. Fleming matching against Alvarado. Interesting matchup right here. Fleming with his own version of quickness takes it home. So many moves in his arsenal to get around bigger players. Eight for Fleming. The dunk for Banks. Pirates reset things. Fleming working it to Gardner, who's looking for his first points in the second half. Won't come there. You could hear distance. Moses Wright trying to use DeVoe's screen as he occupied a couple of defenders and Moses Wright, 36. Georgia Tech leading this game. Foster to Spasievich. Nice distribution by Spasievich. Three point game over the weekend. A little quieter tonight. Georgia Tech turnover though, live ball opportunity. And a little bit of showtime right there off the slick feed. Yellow Jackets will bring Jose Alvarado back on the floor. DeVoe runs the offense here and calls his own number. The lefty banks it in. Alvarado with the handling chewers right now, finding Alston who bangs one in. I came in with two years of eligibility, which is unusual, and has become one of the leaders of this team. Three ball, Curtis Haywood. Hardy wound up on the floor looking for a call. Alvarado to Haywood, to Sholin, deflected. Back in the day, he's the youngest <laughs> Yellow Jacket, just turning 18 in July. Missed the second free throw. Richard, you just dated me, I think. Sievich. Spot out, out of the corner. It's been a long time coming, but there's Deshaun Wade with a three ball. The 46. Spasievich up and under, and the foul. Freshman Khalid Moore into the double team. Oh, Bonda from the free throw line. Nice touch. 11 different Georgia Tech players have scored. A lot of balance, a steal by DeVoe. He'll go to the hoop. The layup is easy. Deshaun Wade, that's a long two tech victory here in Atlanta. After a slow start, the Yellow Jackets turned it on and wind up cruising to a 79 to 54 victory here at the Cambridge Pavilion.